Crash and burn. Hey everyone. So tonight I wanted to discuss the Atari Teenage Riot's first album from way back, and that would be 1995's uh, Delete Yourself. This is, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, this is the first release off DHR, and it's really, really good, but at the same time, it does sort of feel um, very bare bones, whereas on one hand, there's a handful of songs on here that would go on to become staples of their live shows, and they would also be re-recorded for their later releases, like Start the Riot, Into the Death, uh, Speed is on here, of course. Um... Oh yeah, that's right. Kids are united, or and is on here as well. God, I love that song. Atari Teenage Riot's on here, and I do love how um, inexperienced this record sounds. I suppose I love how, like, honestly young it, the 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 tracks sound, and how whereas it's still crazy and it's still very much Atari Teenage Riot, it isn't nearly as crazy or as wild as things would get on 60 Second Wipeout and Burn, Burn, and Burn. But everything, the formula has been carved in stone here, and they would hold on to that for the rest of their career, right up until today. But there's something about this album that it's just, there's like such a, almost like a youthful optimism, I suppose. Like, this is how we're going to sound. And then within a couple years, their sound had grown to be something so much bigger and so much more devastating and so much more chaotic. Because this record, the one thing I will say is it sounds very controlled when you compared to the other Atari Teenage Riot releases. This record does sound very young in that sense. Like, it, it's like they hadn't figured out how far they could go yet. And then once they did, they never really looked back. But again, I will say this song, this song, this album has a bunch of really great songs. Delete Yourself is on here because you've got no chance to win. Um, Kids Are United is on here, which samples Sham 69 so well. I like this version better than the Sham 69. And I really like Sham 69, but I love this version. Um, and again, like I said, Start the Riot, Into the Death, Speed is on here. Um, Atari Teenage Riot, these songs would be sort of reformed, not really, but touched up and re-recorded and made a lot bigger sounding on their later releases. So in that sense, you could almost argue that this is more like an EP as far as the songs that are on here that never really, um, that stayed here. Um, when you remove the songs that they would use again on their later releases, there's really only four five and that's cool and there's nothing wrong with that because this is still absolutely essential because this is the first record released from digital hardcore recordings and so that in and of itself makes this record absolutely essential but it does sound very young and they would grow so quickly and they would learn to hone their sound so fast that the change is insane because everything they would do from this point forward was so much darker and so much more bleak and so much bigger and so much crazier. Yeah, so look, I'm going to go. So thank you so much for sitting with me while I discuss the Atari Teenage Riot's first album from 1995, and that is Delete Yourself. If you like this review, don't forget to do something nice for somebody. You guys kick ass. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.